Hi, it's Brandon Kickstart PBC, and in this video, we're going to be showing you why it's so important to be tracking your keywords with Helium 10. If you aren't already doing this, it's relatively simple. We'll show you how to do it in this video, as well as show you some of the data Helium 10 shows about each keyword, which will help you with determining a lot about your business. So let's jump straight into it. Now to give a pretty good example, I've pulled a random product off Amazon, added in keywords to show you kind of what you can look at when you are tracking a product with a tool such as Helium 10. So I've got this outdoor uh, camping chair, which on Helium 10, I've added in keywords such as uh, the ones here. So uh, like lawn chair, outdoor chair, uh, camping chair. This is one of the main keywords from the title. So pretty low search volume. But when you go to these sort of keywords, they're a lot higher of search volume. You can kind of see where uh, a keyword is doing quite well. So for example, uh, lawn chair is organic rank number one. Uh, sponsored, he's not running any sort of ads. That's, that's what it shows here. But you can actually go in and look at the data itself. So for one year, you can see in the winter, as, as expected, your, your performance is going to be a lot worse. So you're going to have a lot lower search volume. But then as you go into April, May, June, your search volume is going to go from about 6,000 up to like in the 30s. So that's that's almost a 5x versus uh, the low season here. Uh, 5, 6x on, on some of the numbers. So when you have that sort of data in a keyword tracker, you can find that out, see kind of where the search volume is going. Particularly if your sales are going down, you'll be able to see, is it because of search volume on a particular keyword or is it down to your product kind of losing its own traction? So when you look at uh, organic rank, typically you can go in and you can see the history if you've, you've added something in. So you can see what your ranking's been and it will show you a similar sort of graph such as like the search volume, it'll show you what your rank is over a period of time. So gives you an idea if something's happened in the market where your ranking is started to drop. If you see that search volume for a particular keyword is declining, your organic rank is staying about the same and your sales are going down, chances are you're okay. You're just in a product with a declining market at that potential time of year. A lot of products have seasonality, so you need to take that into account instead of you know, some people panic when they start to see these numbers. So having this kind of all in front of you laid out will give you a much better idea on what's what's actually going on. You can also go in here and go and add, uh, look at what your suggested bids are. So what the history is, you can see back pretty far if you've got, um, if you've got lower suggested bids. We're kind of around Prime Day, between Prime Day and Black Friday, so bids are going to be a lot higher than they normally are. But you can see all that in this sort of um, sort, sort of charts here. What I find as an agency owner, this is really crucial to managing kind of any product and any brand we work with. We need to be in touch with what's going on, especially on the top 10 keywords per product. If you're not doing this, you're really putting yourself up at risk for what could be competitors coming in, hitting you off the top spot, because you're not going in and searching your main keywords every day. If you are, maybe you're searching the five, top five, but you're not searching the top 10, the top 20. Now, this will allow you to do so. Now you might be thinking, why not just use brand analytics? You can use a lot of the data in there. It shows you about search volume, trends per niche, which it's true, you do get all that data there, but not on a granular level like Helium 10 or another keyword tracker of this sort. You do get a lot of data using Amazon's tools and you know we use that as well. We like to use uh, Amazon's tools as well as Helium 10 gives a really good overall of what's going on in the market. If you're looking on Amazon and you're seeing a certain uh, trend in terms of search volume and CPC, you can find that sort of data on Helium 10 as well. See if it all kind of correlates because you might find that maybe one keyword is doing okay, but then the overall market is going down. So kind of being able to see on a keyword by keyword basis is, is really crucial. And with so much competition in the Amazon space these days, you really need to be on top of your game using tools like this and not just setting it, forget it, but actually proactively going in and checking where you're at. Hopefully that was useful and hopefully it gave you a better insight on how to keep better track of your products and the overall market using Helium 10. 
If you don't have Helium 10, which I assume most of you do already, we do have a coupon in the description. So go ahead and click the Helium 10 link. It is Kickstart PPC 20 if you want 20% off for six months or Kickstart PPC 10 if you want 10% off every month lifetime. So if you click the link, it'll take you there and it'll have everything there for you. So go ahead and use that if you don't already have the platform. But if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you want plenty more Amazon PPC and FBA related content. We create content every week, so you won't want to miss out on what we've uploaded and what's up and coming. So until the next video, hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you soon. Bye.